I'm Yolanda, and welcome back to How to Keki It. You guys have been asking me for a sushi cake for a long time. Keep giving me requests because I love hearing them. And the good news is I happen to love sushi. So I made a sushi keki. I need Japan to love this video as much as I love Japan. Uh, I think my hair looks good today, but I feel like there's something in it. Did you do something special, Jocelyn? <laughs> For my sushi keki, I baked one and a half pounds of my vanilla cake in a six inch round pan. And for the five maki, I made a chocolate jelly roll cake in a half sheet pan. You can get my recipe below. 10 minutes after your jelly roll cake is out of the oven, you need to lay down a damp, clean towel with some wax paper on top, sprinkle it with icing sugar, turn your cake out and then roll it up between that wax paper and the towel and twist the ends like it's a giant candy and let your cake cool like that. The damp towel prevents the cake from touching itself and sticking together. Once your cake is cooled, you wanna gently unroll it and lay it on a clean sheet of parchment paper. I bought some ginger jam from my local grocery store and I piped it into one edge of the jelly roll cake. I then dyed some of my Italian meringue buttercream a nice soft pink, kind of the color of ginger that comes with your sushi. And then I spread it across the rest of the jelly roll cake with an offset spatula. It's time to roll up this jelly roll. Let me see your jelly roll. Why do you think they call it a jelly roll? Because you roll it. Use the parchment paper to help you push down and push away from yourself so that the cake rolls up. And then you wanna take the parchment paper at the end and just sort of tuck it into itself. Place it on a tray and put it in the fridge to chill for about 10, 20 minutes. You used a ruler, Yolanda? I did. I'm gonna move on to my two pieces of sushi which I'm carving out of the vanilla cake that I baked. I cut my vanilla cake in half and I'm gonna carve both halves into, well, it's kind of like a cylinder with a flat bottom and... Rounded. It's like a oval rectangle. So carve your, your cylindrical oval rectangle. We're not confusing at all. No, the footage is crucial here. Cut to the footage, Orhan. Cut. <laughs> I want my sushi cakes to have flavor as well. So I mix a little bit of my Italian meringue buttercream with a little bit of my ginger jam. And then I cut my cakes in half horizontally, simple syruped them and filled them with my ginger buttercream. Now it's time to crumb coat and chill. I crumb coat my sushi cakes using my plain Italian meringue buttercream and chill them. Crumb coat and chill. It's not misleading. I removed my jelly roll cake from the fridge. The buttercream is nice and chilled inside. And now I'm gonna take a ruler and a sharp knife and cut it into five equal pieces. Real sushi chefs don't even use a ruler. They just have a sharp knife and they get it right every time. That's why I love Japan. It's like a built-in ruler in their brain. I want one. How do I get one? I don't wanna see the edge of my jelly roll cake poking out on each one of the cakes, so I use a three and a half inch round circle cutter to just trim each cake and take off any excess jelly roll cake that's sticking out. And now, it's time to chrome coat and chill. All five equal cakes. Now I'm gonna take out all seven of my keki and give them a nice icing with my Italian meringue buttercream. It's time for fondant. In this case, I want my fondant to look like seaweed. So I had an idea. I mixed some black fondant with a little bit of green to get that seaweed color. And then I thought, since seaweed is not perfectly smooth, I thought, why don't I mix something into my fondant to give it a bit of a texture? So I mixed in some chocolate cookie crumbs, which will add flavor and texture. And as it turns out, dry out your fondant. It seems like the cookie just absorbed all the moisture in the fondant and left me with some fondant that was really hard to knead and really hard to roll out. Oh, I rolled it. Please, look at this. Did 
Did you get your tickets to the gun show? Do you even see anything? <laughs> I thought so. I actually contemplated starting again, but I was like, I can't do this again. If you've seen my time lapse videos, you've seen how long this takes. So I just, I went with the flow. That's what I did. Speaking of how long these cakes take me, it's time for Kick It To The Minute. Congratulations to week one's winners, Autumn Giordano and Caitlin Como. I hope I pronounced your last names right. I think it might be Como. I love you, you both guessed the exact right time it took me to make my mega breakfast cake. If the rest of you wanna know the answer, head over to my Facebook page. The time-lapse video is up. But now it's time for this week's challenge. So if you think you know how long it took me to make this sushi cake, head to my Facebook page. The handle's right here. Like the page and comment on this image to guess. The winner will get a shout out in next week's YouTube video. Let's sing them out, Jocelyn. Cake it! Not the, the fridge. fridge. <laughs> Damn, that fridge, you're so close. We need to name her. Let's yes. name her like loud mouths. I rolled out my fondant as thinly as I could. Then I used a textured rolling pin to give the fondant a bit more of a seaweed look and sort of like a bumpy finish. One at a time, I'm gonna pick up a strip of fondant, wrap it quickly around each cake and where the seaweed overlaps. I'm just gonna wet the fondant underneath with a bit of water so it sticks together. I wanna bring up the color of the seaweed, so I'm gonna paint my fondant with a little bit of black and moss green food coloring diluted with white rum. Oh, I should have painted it with sake. I should have painted my keke with sake. Finally, time to decorate my maki cakes. Coconut jelly beans for the rice, some different gummies to represent like cucumber and crab. I got some Turkish delight that when I rinsed off the powdered sugar and chopped it up, it looked like raw fish. I didn't think we should go with the raw fish in cake. I thought that probably wasn't a good match. I'm not that go with the flow, you know what I mean? What else did I do? Ooh, some red sugar for the like little spicy bits and the spicy sauce that they put in spicy salmon. That is my favorite sushi. Oh, and then I bought these puff pastry cookies that look like the deep fried claws of a soft shell crab. My second favorite sushi. The one component I did have to make out of fondant was a little cube of avocado because I couldn't find a candy that looked like avocado anywhere. Candy makers, can you get on this please? I'm going to ice my two sushi cakes once more lightly. I just need a fresh coat of Italian meringue buttercream so that I can glue all my rice or coconut jelly beans to the entire surface of each cake. Now I need to make some fish to put on top of these two babies. I dyed some fondant sort of like, well, tuna colored. And then I rolled it out, I made some indents. I tried my best not to cut it into like a perfect rectangle. Before placing my slice of tuna onto its bed of rice, I'm gonna just brush the fondant with a bit of strained apricot jam. And this is to keep it really shiny, like a raw piece of fish. And I'm gonna move on to my salmon. I noticed that my salmon color was a bit off, so I added a bit of orange food coloring to get it just right. And then I rolled it out, and I also rolled out a piece of white fondant. What I'm trying to achieve is the look of a fresh slice of salmon with the fat sort of striped through it. So what I'm gonna do is layer my salmon colored fondant and my white colored fondant and re-roll it out again so that stripe becomes part of the fondant. Honestly, it was really great. Does that sound cocky? I don't mean it like that. I just mean it was better than I thought. I was so happy. Now I need to make some ginger because I love pickled ginger. Love it and wasabi. Love them both. I'm gonna take a little bit of that salmon colored fondant and mix it into some white gum paste to get a really soft pink like the pickled ginger. And then I just take little balls off at a time and roll each one as flat as I can, as thin as paper. And you don't even want a perfect shape. You just wanna go with the flow. I'm becoming a pro at going with the flow. I asked Jocelyn how I go with the flow. Why are you laughing, Jocelyn? Not at all, that's how you go with the flow. <laughs> 
not at all. I took a little bit of red dust color and just lightly brush the edges of each piece of ginger. And then I picked them all up and just sort of scrumpled them up into a pile. That's right, scrumpled. Scrumple is like a softer crumple. <laughs> is scrumple actually a word? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> for my wasabi, I actually used the same fondant that I had dyed for my little piece of avocado. And what I'm gonna do is just work a little bit of water into it to soften it a bit, and then just sort of just form it into a ball. And I wanna apologize to Japan right now, because when you go to Japan, you get fresh grated wasabi. Yeah, we don't get that here. I want my sushi to look super fresh, so before presenting it all on a lovely board, I'm actually just gonna go back and paint around all of the maki with just plain water. They were very quiet. Do you know what that means, Jocelyn? Cool? No, super cute. How did they get super cute down to I don't quiet? know. I don't know that it means super cute, but quiet means cute. <laughs> anyway. in your hair now. What? Well, that's hard to believe. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, it looks great, yo. What happens next? Are you gonna eat? Oh, I'm gonna eat these cakes. Why do you think I made an extra one? Because I didn't want to wreck the presentation. That's one of my favorite parts about sushi. Oh, I'm gonna eat a slice of cake. I actually forgot that I put ginger jam in it. So I love that that flavor came out because I was eating sushi. Get it? Don't forget to head over to my Facebook and play Cake It To The Minute. There's a link in the description below. You know what else I want as much as I want to go back to Japan? I want two million subscribers by my birthday, July 21st. Really, I'm doing this for Susan, the CEO of YouTube. Uh, she wrote me a letter when she, did she not write me a letter? She did, she did write you a letter, Yolanda. Susan is counting on us. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Tell everyone, tell everyone about the keki. I think I said it wrong there. <laughs> keki. See, I need to bow when I say it. See you next time on how to keki it. I wish you keki filled dreams.